Hello again, financial enthusiasts, and welcome back to Night Fury Digital Finance, where we decode the world of money, one video at a time. In this video, we're going to be discussing the financial conundrum that's left many scratching their heads. In 2023, should you opt for leasing, financing, or straight-up cash for assets? But before we hit the gas, please do us a solid. If you find value in our content, do smash that like button and subscribe. It motivates us to bring you more enlightening content. Make sure you stick around till the end and let's go on this financial road trip together. In the world of assets, whether it's that shiny new car or the latest tech gadget, how you acquire it can make all the difference. Let's break down the basics. 1. Leasing Think of it as renting. You don't own the asset, but you have the right to use it. Once the lease term ends, you either return it, buy it, or renew the lease. 2. Financing Here, you're borrowing money to buy the asset. Over time, you pay back the loan with interest. Once it's fully paid, the asset is all yours. 3. Cash The good old-fashioned way. You pay the full amount up front, and the asset is immediately yours, no strings attached. Each method has its pros and cons, and the best choice often depends on your financial situation, goals, and the type of asset in question. With fluctuating interest rates, economic shifts, and technological advancements, the way we view asset acquisition is changing. Leasing might offer flexibility, especially with tech gadgets that become obsolete quickly. Financing could help you manage cash flow, especially with big ticket items. And paying cash, it's a clear statement of financial strength, but is it always the best move? Understanding these nuances is crucial, especially in today's dynamic economic environment. Now for the million dollar question, what's the financial aftermath of each choice? With leasing, your monthly outgoings are typically leaner than financing. But there's a catch, you won't own the asset when the lease concludes. Financing might be a tad heavier on the wallet monthly, but once cleared, the asset's all yours, plus your accruing equity. Opting for cash has no monthly dues, no interest. But it can immobilize a chunk of your capital, which might have been invested elsewhere for potentially higher returns. But it ties up your funds, which could be used elsewhere to make you more money. So, which is the best route for you? Leasing, financing, or cash? The answer isn't one size fits all. It depends on your financial goals and your intention with the asset itself. But let's discuss the basics for any generic asset such as a car in 2023. Individuals or businesses that are looking to keep up with technological advancements while also maintaining liquidity, leasing is a favorable option. It allows for flexibility and keeps up to date with the latest equipment without hefty upfront costs. Financing, on the other hand, is ideal for those who want ownership and are looking at long-term hold of the asset, especially considering the current low interest rates. However, if you have the capital and are looking at assets that appreciate over time, like real estate, paying cash can be the most cost-effective method in the long run, eliminating interest and giving you full control. And that wraps up our deep dive into leasing, financing and cash payments for assets in 2023. Next time you're faced with an asset acquisition decision, you'll be armed with the knowledge to make the best choice for your financial future. If this guide sheds some light on your asset acquisition journey, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more financial wisdom. Got a burning financial question or topic you'd like us to tackle next? Drop it in the comments below. And as always, remember, the bank of knowledge always pays the highest interest.